I think Caitlin Clark should have been on the I USA think so, team. Bro. I think so too. Just from a pure branding and marketing step, Caitlin's the biggest. What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. And very, very, very few seldom times do I agree with Draymond Green, but he comes through and crushes the media with this take. And that is Caitlin Clark being left off of the Team Olympics. The snubbing is ridiculous. Let's get into this take, guys. Make sure you guys come here, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video. Let's go. Now, you guys already know, man, Draymond Green does not have the best reputation in the league, but for some reason, this guy gets an excuse because of his personality. His podcast is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Some of the things that he does on the court does rub me the wrong way. However, in this situation, what's right is right. Y'all already, y'all know my motto. I'm going to always speak if the truth when it comes to any topic that I feel like is just the flat out truth. Draymond Green, who was left off of Team USA as well, I think that with his behavior this past year, they decided to go another route and pretty much fill in his position with, I believe, Drew Holiday, uh, what's the other guy named, Derek White. Uh, so therefore, he has plenty of time to sit and cover the topics that I like to cover. Starting with this, Draymond's Green honest quote about Caitlin Clark went viral. Okay, guys, let's see what Draymond Green had to say. I think Caitlin Clark should have been on the USA team. I think so too. Because I think it's good for the brand. It's great for the brand. And let's not we talk brand any other time. Let's not act like it don't matter now. Oh, man, like it, it makes matters. the most sense. One hundred percent. You think about what the nineteen ninety two Barcelona team, Dream Team, right, did for the brand of basketball. Yes. The W is still in the are, are still in those phases of the NBA. Yes. Right? Like yes. the NBA during that the W is there. So it must be about spreading this globally, and she's the biggest global star Man, we in, 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 the, in women's basketball. And listen, I think like the women we got over there. I think Asia Wilson, like I think Asia Wilson's gonna be the go. But like, just from a pure branding and marketing step, Kayla's the biggest. Now, how hard is that, guys? Have we not been saying this the whole time? Yes, we know that there are veterans who like to come first, but every veteran that's on uh, Team USA right now, I mean, they're pretty much wiping the floor with the competition. I do think their friends may give them a run for their money. They seem very competitive, very tough, and uh, we are definitely going to see about that. But, man, like, it makes no, no, it just makes no sense to me that this was the biggest miss and how you have a four-time NBA champion. He has all of the credibility and Draymond Green coming out to pretty much acknowledge what a lot of people have already pretty much been at war about, uh, including the woke people over there at ESPN who refused to give Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp all of the credit and praise when they were over there banging the table saying that this was a complete miss. We saw uh, Paul Pierce over there at FS1, pretty much everyone in the media except women. If I'm being honest, pretty much everyone in the media, except the woke women, in my opinion, um, they had a problem about branding. Well, you all know what the dream team did. You just heard Draymond Green speaketh. You heard what he said. If it was not for Michael Jordan uh, going to the dream team, think about all of these years. Like that was 1992, the same year I was born. We got 1992, 2002, 2012, 2022. Uh, and pretty much it'll never be forgotten. But because of that smart marketing team move, look at what the Dream Team has. Multiple documentaries, historic players, Hall of Famers who will never forget what they did for our great country. And like Draymond Green is saying, like right now, even though it's 2024, the W is stuck in the time frame of 1992 as far as like branding and marketing. And, you know, now... This is what it is, you know, like they just dropped the biggest ball ever. We don't know what can happen in Caitlin Clark's career. I mean, knock on wood, you know, that she's OK, that she's healthy, but anything can happen. Like, you know, people have season ending injuries sometimes. Uh, and what's that's going to do? Right. Because I'm under the impression. Right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all let me know in the comment section. If anything drastic was to happen to Caitlin Clark and it will, you know, bar her from being able to play in the, the WNBA, I'm willing to bet more than half of the current fans watching now would not watch. 
But however, if you would have been able to continue to market, especially in this moment where you have the international players and the international fans, they would still remain possibly because of uh, all of the attention that other players would get and they would slowly latch on, slowly continue to draft from those international uh, countries, you know what I'm saying, and bring more fandom to the game. But right now, the biggest star in the W is no question Caitlin Clark. And, you know, apparently Draymond Green is the only person nowadays that has sense because it's, not, it's definitely not my channel. I mean, I only make 4,500 Caitlin Clark videos a day pretty much saying the same thing. And uh, I like how, you know, he's, he's just being bold enough to say it because apparently if you're a black person and you don't just use your common sense and you go against all of the people who are rooting for Angel Reese, then it makes you a sellout, which is the most ignorant thing, guys. This is the most ignorant thing that I've ever seen because I will continue to harp on this. We saw none of this in the NBA. Nobody was worried about black and white like that. I mean, the bird, the bird and magic situation was way before my time, guys. But as far as I'm concerned, when Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James were the face of the league, even Allen Iverson, like, nobody was like, oh, it should be a white man. So why are we acting like this now? Like, we have to grow up, man, and stop being, like, followers. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just use the good common sense that God gave us. There's no way that Caitlin Clark should have been left off of Team USA Olympics. And even if she was sitting on the bench, you guys still would at least have more engagement with the fans, the crowds, the media. No one is caring right now. And I will be possibly making a video about Grant Williams, who seems to be the NBA player invited to everything, like the Michael Rubin parties and all that. And he's there at the Olympics saying that the WNBA uh, Team USA basketball women should have more coverage. What do you expect, Grant Williams? Caitlin Clark is not there. Nobody gives a shit. And I keep saying this, but let's let... Let's let's let Draymond Green. Y'all know I call Draymond Green monkey man because he be on the court acting all crazy and shit. But let's continue to listen to what he had to say. No, all right. Okay, maybe, possibly, right? Maybe, possibly, Angel Reese guys. But uh, you know, I'm under the impression that you know it, it's it's all about Kaylin Clark. Okay. I know that this may rub a lot of people the wrong way, but the truth of the matter is Angel Reese. How can I say this? I know that Angel Reese bought a lot to the game, right? And I'm not knocking her for that, but as far as branding guys, like the WNBA, what they have now is special, like the rivalry. I'm quite sure Angel Reese is going to revert into villain form because that's the only way she's going to stay relevant. And Kaylin Clark, man, uh, she's just the ticket, bro. She's just a cash cow. Now, there were similar players back in Michael Jordan day who were fresh in the league, just as he was, but Michael Jordan was the only one marketable, right? Now, in my opinion, I think Arike Ogumbunwale should be in place of Angel Reese. Arike Ogumbunwale, who is literally a two-time all WNBA All-Star MVP, literally deserves to be on that roster, okay? But as far as that, besides her, automatically just Caitlin Clark. So let me just put that out there. For her not to be on the team, Angel Reese not to be, I think for what they're doing for women's basketball, like, yeah, that should matter. And by the way, what they showed you in this half a season is that I'm going to be one of them ones. I'm one of them ones. So it's okay to bet on me right now because I'm going to be one of them ones. She's leading, Angel Reese is leading the league in double-doubles and broke the all-time record. Caitlin Clark is leading the league in assists on a historical pace. They've shown you we're going to be one of them in ones. the first half of the season. So bro. you can make that bet on me. Yeah, yeah. And that's pretty much what Draymond Green had to say, guys. I mean, like, it doesn't get any more clear than this. Uh, the Olympic snubbing is just ridiculous, especially when you have all of these antics and BS going on at the Olympics where it's just taken away from the value of it. Why not have some type of American product there to at least – even make the Olympics better. Uh, and Draymond Green, I think this was, was this Baron Davis, guys? Am I, am I tripping? Is this Baron Davis? I want to say this is Baron Davis. Yeah, because I'm going to be. Yeah, y'all let me know in the comment section, guys, because I, I, I want to say that this is uh, Baron Davis. I could be wrong. I'm just going to end it right here because I want to hear from you guys. You guys drop your comments in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about Draymond Green's take. Obviously, guys, you know your boy Chuck here at Charge the Game. We have already been covering this all over the world. And what's crazy is 
uh, I saw some of the comments in the comment section where people were like, hey, this is a lame take. He's just using this for clickbait. And guess what, guys? I agree with you. You know why? Because NBA players should have already been on the forefront defending uh, Caitlin Clark and supporting her in the Olympic snub. But guess what? People don't want to go against the women in the W. They have, I guess, favorites, relationships. I, I don't know, man. But it would have been very, very much more respected if Draymond Green, uh, who tends to have a big mouth, if he would have just came out and showed a little support earlier. So you guys let me know what y'all think. Thank you guys for watching today. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.